Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you've already subscribed, we thank you very much. But if you haven't, please click that subscribe button. Today is gonna to be really exciting because we're gonna start a series of videos making things from all of our scrap. So when we get machines in which aren't good enough to repair or things we've part exchanged which aren't good enough to sell on again, we just end up with a massive great big pile of machines. So we're gonna be grabbing some of those machines and seeing what we can make out of them. And today is a little bit special because I've got a quad bike and I've got a rotavator. And what can we make out of that? I don't know. Let's go and grab them in, get them into here and see what we can do with them. So there's these two beautiful looking machines. We've got an old scrap rotavator and we've got an old scrap kids quad. This is a ding dong ching quad and this is an old rally rotavator. The rotavator, all the gears inside of the, of the mechanism have literally eaten themselves. So it's not worth trying to get that one fixed again. The ching dong ding quad bike is, well, the engine is completely, how can I put this politely? The piston and bore are scored on the old ching dong ding dong bike, so the engine's no good. It still works, you know, it still works. I'll say that, press the starter, hang on. There we go. But nothing happens. The piston's scored to hell. So anyway, never mind. So we've got a quad, we've got a rotavator. The engine on here, I've been told, is okay. Whether it runs or not is a different matter. But so today we're gonna take that engine off the rotavator and make sure that works. Well, we might so leave it on the rotavator and see if it works. See if we can get that one going and then start stripping the quad bike down because we're going to make a mini bike or mini trike. We'll make that decision once we've got the stuff down to see what components we've got and see what will fit where. But I think that's gonna be pretty good. So this video, I've been inspired by another channel on YouTube. The channel is Tarrell Fixes All because he's made a few mini bikes over the years. And I was like, do you know what? I think I've got some components that we can use to make that. Anyway, go over and check out their channel because that's pretty cool. They do some pretty fun stuff, some comedy sketches. And he's a very knowledgeable guy. He knows his stuff about small engines. But anyway, gonna strip these down, see if the engine works, strip the quad bike down, and then see what we can do with it. Let's get on with business. So here we have a Briggs & Stratton five horsepower overhead valve horizontal crank engine. The perfect little engine to put into a mini bike, but it's joined to this old rally rotavator, which well, the rally rotavators were made by the same company who makes the Husqvarna ones. I think they're probably made out of the AYP factory or Electrolux over in the States. Some of you guys will probably know where that's made better than I will, but anyway, we're gonna, firstly, we're gonna disconnect all the controls and everything off the engine, take off the belt the other side. So we just got the bear hub, literally using the rotavator as our engine stand for the time being. And then we're just gonna, well, Sniff some petrol. No, we're not just gonna do that. <laughs> Put some fresh petrol in and um, see if we can just get it going to start with and then see if we need to do any more to it before we're happy to use this little bird of an engine. But there we are. Let's get these controls stripped off and go from there. Screw driver. Screw, screw, screw driver. He says, ah, there she comes. Got all these old cables out of the way. Place your bets, Imperial or metric? Ah, ready? How many ugga duggers is it gonna take to get these bolts out? Oh, not very many ugga duggers. Oh, I could have probably done that by hand, to be honest. There we are. Ah! Ooh! A twisty, twisty belted. What is going on here? Let's pull them out. There we go. What is. That's your reverse belt, that is. Or was. I have seen better days. Seen more material on my. Um, never mind. Why is it when you want a belt to come off, it never comes off? But then when you don't want them to come off, they just fall off. There she is. We got her off. There isn't actually any, any fuel in there at all. So what do you reckon the chances are? Put some fuel in it, pull the rope, and off she pops. Fuel tank is beautifully clean. Beautifully clean. It's a nice Husqvarna XP4 which is the um, alkalite fuel from Husqvarna. Oh, I'm just spilling this. James, use a funnel. Yeah, I know I could. But I didn't, did I? I'll throttle there. Hmm. Let's check the old oil before we fire up. Yeah, 
Plenty of golden goodness in there. Golden brown, textured like sun. Right, we've got lots of golden goodness. We've got some jungle juice in there. We've got to turn that fuel filter on. I'm guessing that's our, just our throttle there, isn't it? Yeah, that's our throttle. Then we've got run and choke. So I'm guessing that that's stop. And that there is full throttle. Put her about halfway for now. Put her into choke. See what we get. <laughs> Pick her up! First pull! First pull! First pull! First pull! Give it a bit of road! Even the stop works. What's the chances of that firing right up? An old rusty old Briggs engine, which has been sat for, well, it's got cobwebs on it, so it's been there a while. Bit of fresh, good old fresh alkali fuel, and off she pops. Let's just try it again. It can't be that good, surely. Put it there, it's in the run. Put a bit of that choke again. <laughs> it works! That's cool. I'm happy with that. We've got an engine. We're halfway there. This video's only going to be like five minutes long. Right, so let's whiz that engine off of there. Take that engine off, put that back to one side, and we can scrap the rest. And we'll move on to the quad bike. Let's do that. And this one is going to be hard to get out. Oh, dear, dear, dear. We've got a Lucy Goosey. Loose Goose. Oh well, that'll do. Uh, uh, yeah! Ninja moves. We like ninja moves. We have an engine! It's out, right. Stick that over there. It works. Hang on, let's just have one more little ah, one more little play. Here's she. <laughs> That's cool. I love it. Ow, oh, it's all hot now. Right. Let's get rid of the scrap and get the quad bike in. Right guys, we have got a quad bike. Well, to go back to that engine, I kid you not, it, that probably looked like it was a fix, but it really wasn't. It really did start first pull. I was just speaking to our cameraman and I was like, wow, that was easy. I wasn't expecting that. I was actually expecting a, probably a full on, well, not full on engine rebuild, but at least have to do the valves, clean the carb, all the, you know, the usual jazz. But there we are. Sometimes you get lucky and we've got lucky with that engine. Anyway, this isn't so lucky because one is made out of Chinesium, which is pretty weak and rubbish. Um, two is all I've got without having to buy other stuff, but that's not the idea of the scrap challenge. We've got to make something out of more than just one thing. So we're going to strip this down. But before we do that, some bits we're going to need. We're going to need the handlebars. At the end of the day, the brakes will work. So front brakes, back brakes, and throttle, or the starter. Oh no, we're not gonna need a starter because that's gonna be a Porsche start. So ignore the starter. Just make the most of this now. And so it did have an electric start on it. It did work once. Anyway, so we're gonna need all that gubbins because we're gonna use that on bike, trike, whatever we make, use it on that. And then we are also going to need the wheels. I think we're probably gonna use 
the back axle and all the brake gubbings and everything on that and might even try and reuse the seat. But I think we can probably guarantee that all the plastics will be gone um, and most of what, I mean obviously the engine will get rid of that as well. So let's just start ripping it apart. Let's take it apart. Oh no, it's quite fun just sat here. I need a bigger shed. Right, let's get on with it. What did you do first? Cool. Seatage off. That battery, we knew it was good. It's been sat in our shed for, what, six months? And that battery is still good. Glasses, they help, there we go. All right, let's pop this battery out. Nick that. What am I doing? I got, I got a dugger dugger up there. I could use my dugger dugger. Nick the old Milwaukee battery out the Milwaukee torch and put it in the Milwaukee. Oh, hang on, that's on the wrong set. There we go. Right. Oh, okay, man. It's wobbly. off. We have a frame and an exhaust. There we are. Can we fit a Briggs engine in there? Yeah, I reckon. Why not, James? That engine is rubbish and we need to take it out. So we're going to do that. Chain drive is all sprocket back axle on this. So that's all chain drive. So hopefully on that engine, all I'm going to need to buy is a clutch. Might be quite nice to put a torque converter in there, but have we got time? Have we got the energy? I don't know, we'll have to find out. But hopefully we can just get a clutch that'll fit straight onto that crankshaft on that engine and power it straight back to the back axle. Now, votes. Trike or mini bike? The big question. What are we gonna do? New frame, just use the components? I don't know. But I think we should probably get, the, get this engine out of this bike first. Bang off the old exhausty, thirsty. <laughs> For oh, 13 millimeter. There she is. Exhausty. is off the bike the old pit bike engine get that over here out of the way dump that down so now we are left with our rolling chassis of a little quid kid quids kids quad bike so that's it what we're we gonna do well during that whole tear down I've made a decision that with our nice Briggs engine over here we are going to fit that little pup in it needs to be that way because the engine, if you pull the old pull starter rope and see which way the engine's spinning, that's the way the engine spins. So that's going that way. So to you guys, that's anti-clockwise. We're going to have to get that to fit into this frame. So we're going to have to take the fuel tank off, the exhaust off, the air filter housing off and get that to fit in there. We're probably going to have to weld up a, obviously, plate in the bottom, some of the engine to bolt onto because the likelihood of all that being in the right place is, well, it's not going to be, is it? But there we are. Cut off all some of this jiggery pokery up here that we don't need anymore. Then we're going to keep the back axle and we're going to take off all the front and we're going to make up a whole new set of forks for the front and turn it into a pretty cool little trike. I know, it sounds dangerous. Trikes are, but trikes are cool, aren't they? It's like the old Honda ATCs years ago. The little um, Honda trikes that did death traps back in the 80s. But tell you what, let's make our own. We're gonna do that. So we're gonna do, now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pop this tank off, pop the exhaust off a minute, and the air filter housing, and then we're gonna try and slide it in there to see what it looks like. I expect then I'm gonna have to order some parts and come and see what we can do with it. But let's pop this up on the bench and work this off a minute. Let's tear this down, get it down to the bare bones of the old engine. What do we need? Tools, James, tools. 
I've no idea what I'm doing. Never mind. All right. Do 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 do. Luckily, the carb is down there. So that should be fairly easy right now. Might just flip this one either, maybe. I don't know. Will that work? If only things were that easy. Look at that. Look how clean that filter is. I don't think this engine's hardly been used, to be honest. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. People laugh at my little tiny little socket, but I like it. Just a handful, any more than a handful is a waste, you see. It's good. It's nice on stuff like this because you can put pressure on things without too much leverage so you don't end up snapping so much. That's what I found with it anyway. Right, we have got, we're down to a bare engine, look at that. Let's see if it fits. I reckon. Uh, sit in there quite nicely once we've got that bracket out of the way. Yeah, that bracket's definitely got to move. Uh, I'd have cut that bracket off. It's in my way. Grinder! Right, so we've got a few little sharp bits there, but they're not going to be in the way. They'll be fine. We'll sort them out later on. Let's see if we can get her in there now. Do -do. Oh, look at this. Looking more positive. Slide that up there. Might have to take that little bracket out in between there, little support bracket, maybe. Where's that hitting? Carb sits out this side, and then that all lines up over there, maybe. I don't know. Exhaust pipe up and out. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm very excited about this. So we've got our old chaining with Bob. Oh, I got that stuck, didn't I? Hang on. There we go. Chaining with Bob up through there, onto a clutch, off straight off the engine, I reckon, and just run it off the clutch off the engine. Is that the right thing to do, or should we put a torque converter in there? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to do a bit of research on that. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? A bit of scrap challenge. So we've got that, and then we'll have a recall out here. So bop, 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 off we go. Controls are there. The nice thing about this engine is that all the governor springs and everything, and where it goes down in through onto your governor on there, everything's all on the top of the engine. So it's really easy to get to and out of the way as well. well. I reckon we can do something with that. Briggs and Stratton quad bike. There's a first. Something about this choke out here. But we make exhaust, the, even the air filter I think will work. Come and have a look over here. That might even fit on the outside of there, look. Hang on, where's my glasses? Better go onto there like that. So what we do is put the engine in first, and fill the air filter after. I think that'd be okay. That's roughly where the engine will sit. And then the exhaust, cut that little bracket out there, we can weld another support in somewhere else. Exhaust up through there, straight out the back somewhere. Maybe around the corner and out, but anyway, we'll work that out. I think that'll be quite cool. We'll put a few little bits back on, just to, you know, get a bit of an idea of how this is all gonna work. So that will go back into there. Might as well use the same fuel, fuel tank if we've got the same frame. The old seat fits onto there. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, this is going to be our Briggs and Stratton quad bike. No, sorry, Briggs and Stratton trike. Briggs and Stratton trike. I like the sound of that. You might see that in the title somewhere. But guys, that is all we've got time for for part one. We are going to go away, order some parts up, work out some measurements, you know, all the boring stuff. We'll do that off camera. We'll gather a big pile of it. And then we'll see you in part two, where we will start assembling this, putting it together, welding that plate in the bottom, making sure it all fits, putting the clutch on the engine. Gotta find the clutch first. Never done that before. 
probably go-kart, something like that sort of clutch will be what we're looking for. We will start reassembling in part two and trying to make it work. So if we can get it to work as a quad bike first, probably to start with, and then we'll look at turning it into a trike. The title hopefully will explain a bit more about what we're doing. I haven't made any plans for this. We just found two machines in the scrap pile and see if we can make something with it. And so far, so good. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please click that button in the bottom corner and follow us on the old social media stuff as well. We'd love it if you can do that. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. 